and gentlemen of the press. Although I know that in the press they say you don't have ladies, you just have gentlemen of the press. One of the major reasons of my addressing you this morning is that you are the defenders of democracy, knowing the fact that issues that Nigerians don't have real information about, you will be able to give Nigerians the fact of what truly is happening around us. And as representative of the people from Plateau State, representing just south, just east, federal constituency, and on an, a very important issue that affects my constituent, my constituent who is the speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly, Honorable Ayuba Abok, whom has been the legitimate speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly since the constitution of constituting the the Plateau State House of Assembly in 19, uh, 2019. Because of his standing with the people as a result of the killings and the state of insecurity in the state, saying it as it is, giving information of the true situation of what has been happening on the plateau as a result of the insecurity and trying to proffer a solution as the speaker and other members from the house of assembly it now has become a scapegoat because of saying the truth it's quite unfortunate that some days back a kangaroo coup was carried out in the State House of Assembly in Plateau State that six members of the House of Assembly carried out a coup impeaching or allegedly impeaching the Speaker and one have to be so concerned that not just that he is my constituent, but as a defender of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, where Section 92, Subsection 2 clearly stated that a Speaker of a State House of Assembly can only be impeached by a two thirds members of the State House of Assembly. And here we have that the Plateau State we have 24 House of Assembly members elected serving and six members will sit down and carry out a coup in the name of impeachment that a speaker has been impeached. Six out of 24 which is clearly against the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 92, where six members cannot be in any way be two thought of 24. And today, we have all the government that is for the government, not for the people, has its own speaker by six members while the people of plateau state have a speaker a legitimate speaker that the people of plateau state know that he is standing for the people of plateau state in the person of right honorable ayuba abok he remain the legitimate speaker that the plateau people know it is not about party politics i am pdp and he is apc it's not about party politics, but it's about defending the constitution of Nigeria. It's about doing the right thing. It's about 
carrying out the legitimate assignment, carrying out what is right for the people and giving the people what stands for the people. It's unfortunate that the government has turned it to be a party thing that because we are in PDP and we are talking against the illegality that the government of Plateau State has carried out, they are now turning it to be a party thing that the peace speaker want to go back to PDP, that's why we are... No, we are speaking because the constitution has been murdered. And I want to use this opportunity, because we are not on session, to call on my colleagues to stand for what is right, to call on the speaker of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Senate president, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to look into this issue immediately before democracy is being murdered on the plateau, before we are being looked down in Nigeria that we don't respect the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I don't have a problem if Right Honorable Abok is being removed as a speaker if it's been done the right way. If two third members of the House of Assembly will sit down in the House and impeach him legitimately, legally, as it's been in the Constitution. We don't have a problem. But when six people out of 24 will sit down to carry out an illegal impeachment, then we have a problem. Because we need to defend the Constitution. We need to make sure to ensure that the future of democracy in Nigeria is protected. We are struggling to maintain peace on the plateau, but unfortunately, a government that is supposed to make sure that all its actions are legitimate to ensure that peace is being maintained, unfortunately, this is bringing high level of disunity separating the plateau people because of selfish interests. We will not sit down and allow illegality to take place. We will not sit down and allow selfish reasons to override the interests of the plateau people. We stand for what is right. We are going to continue to stand for what is right. And we're going to continue to recognize the Right Honorable Abok as a legitimate speaker until two third members of the State House of Assembly impeached him. Then we will be okay with that. But as long as six members out of 24 will sit down to impeach a speaker, then that is the murderer of the Constitution. So I want to call on Nigeria call on the youths. Abok is a youth. He is the future of Nigeria to stand for what is right. We will not sit down and allow illegality again to happen because we must protect the future of democracy in Nigeria because the next generation must get it right. Thank you.